Hi, my name is Bruce Nieder. I'm a tech advisor here with West System. This is the sixth video in the Sale Magazine's Epoxy Basic series. What we have in front of me is the bulkhead that Tom had prepared by glassing both sides of the bulkhead. It's been prepped ahead by sanding the edges with 80 grit and an orbital sander around where the fillet and the tabbing is going to go once we get it up in the boat. Okay, what I'm starting to do now is uh, prep the inside flange that we left by coating it with some unthickened epoxy to begin with to make sure we have good intimate contact with the surface. We'll come back and put a thickened mixture on it and then press the new bulkhead into this prepped surface. I'm going to use one of our notch spreaders to evenly distribute the thickened mixture. I'm, I'm not going to fill in this open space in the middle because that's where the limber holes are. So we've got to leave that open so water can flow to the bilge. We've got the bulkhead in place against the uh, prepared flange. Uh, it's clamped in and temporarily screwed in through that existing flange. On the other side now, which is the back side of the boat, I'm going to put another fillet. Uh, I'm going to use the filleting tool with one of our uh, squeegees, and then we'll put the tabs right over the fillet. Okay, it's a couple hours later now. I've got the ground crew all set, wetting out uh, the tapes for me. You can see the fillet is ready. I'm going to start at the top of the bulkhead and go around with the first layer and then come back around with the second layer. I'm going to re-wet it again just to make sure we've got good, good contact. You can see I'm overlapping the, the fillet a little bit. The next layer, when it comes on, will overlap in the center. Got to get it positioned properly. There we go. The tape we're using is a biaxial, uh, 17 ounce tape, our 737. And <clears throat> what's nice about the biaxial tape is it goes around the, the curve much easier because the fibers are not going perpendicular. Each of the fibers are going at an angle so it lays down better in the corner and it'll also take this corner better. Again, we're not going to span this area here because this is the limber hole. We don't want to restrict the water flow from the front of the boat to the bilge. Yeah, I'm just wetting the glass out from the top side just a little more uh, to make sure that it adheres well to the bulkhead and to the hull. Uh, w one of the advantages of getting on this fillet that we installed an hour and a half ago or so is that it's still reactive and so what we're going to get is a chemical bond between the fillet and the tabbing so it's all going to be one big strong laminate rather than if we had had to come in and let that fillet cure but then we would sand it that's a secondary bond and all things being equal they're not as strong as a chemical bond Okay, that's it. We let this uh, cure, probably let it cure for a couple days, and then we will install the chain plates into the bulkheads uh, and bolt them through the, bulk, uh, the bulkheads and they'll be ready for next time the rig goes up. Okay.